Okay, this next video is gonna show how to um, assemble the pants of our romper. Um, I am doing the pants that are um, have the cuff on them. So you cut um, on this dotted line and it calls for two pieces. Um, cut two on the fold. So I've got one and two. And when you open these up, just like our bubble, they're so big. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out. Hopefully we can see the whole thing on here. Might need to raise my camera up just a little bit more. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so I've raised our camera up so we can see our full. Okay, so I've raised our camera up so we can see our full piece here. Um, we have two of our pants pieces and they were cut on the dotted line to add um, pants cuffs. So I also have here um, two of our pant cuffs. I cut two and this was not cut on the fold so you cut all the way around each of these. So there's one two pieces of that. So I'm gonna show you how to prepare the um, bottoms and the cuffs to be assembled. I am going to show the bottoms first and then I will show the cuffs. So for our bottoms here, we're going to lay the front or the back, whatever you want to call this piece, we're going to lay it down flat and then we are going to just lay the other piece right sides together, right on top. And we are going to line up our side seams in this loop right here, which is our crotch seam and side leg basically. All right, so we've got this all lined up. And we'll line up this side as well. So what we're doing here is we are preparing to sew our two side seams and the crotch seam. So we are going to attach the front to the back in those three places. I'm gonna go ahead and put pins in this. All right, I am. All right, so what I've got here are um, my clips. I, I don't actually have any clips, um, many clips left. They're on all my projects um, from today, so I'm gonna use um, some pins. I'll just place one in each of the corners that I'm gonna be sewing. before I move this out of the way. All right. We're ready to go. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we are going to get our um, pants cuffs ready, assembled, and um, ready to be sewn. So what we need to do first is make sure that we have the stretch going the right way. So, so we have the stretch here and this is the grain line. Okay, so what we need to do is we'll fold each piece first on the stretch line. Okay, so the stretch is here, right? Perfect. So we will fold it on the stretch line and then we will fold it in half again. Like this. Now what we have done here is this um, here in this side, here's how we folded it. This side here has four raw edges that we are going to sew closed, okay? And this here will become the opening. Once this is sewn together, this will flip right sides out and become the opening of our leg cuff, okay? So we'll do the same thing here. Remember, here's our stretch. Oh wait, I didn't check this piece. Yes. Okay, so our stretch is running across. We're gonna fold on the stretch line. And then fold again. And we're gonna sew close these raw edges. I am going to put a clip right here so that we know where we're sewing. So when we head over to the table now, we are gonna sew closed our front to our back of our, um, of our bottoms for our pants. And then we are gonna sew closed these two sides of our leg cuffs. Let's go do that. All right, so we've got our pants here. I am going to sew the side seams closed and then the crotch seam. The ones that you see in the picture now that um, have the lines drawn on, those are the ones we're closing. Um, this is the first step to closing up our bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now the first side seam. You just wanna make sure you're catching the full side of both of the raw edges, front and back, in our seam allowance. So we've got the one side done now. I am going to flip this over to the other side real quick. we're going to surge all the way around our crotch seam. This one can be a little tricky because you kind of have to turn a corner here um, or turn a curve. And what I like to do is... When I get ready to turn, I just start to move the fabric that's on this side, just start to scoot it over just a little bit. You don't wanna be pulling here or pushing, um, but you do wanna sew all the way around this little curve. 
um, and you don't want to miss any of our fabric um, in our seam allowance. So as we go, we might move a little bit slower here. And you see we're getting towards the center. So I'm just moving more of the top fabric over to the left side of my serger. Almost to straighten it out a little bit is what it kind of feels like you're trying to do, even though that's not what you're actually doing. Um, just like that. See, this just kind of gets turned in a little, just a little bit. And we're down to the very end here. So we've sewed all the way around the crotch seam of our pants. And now all we have left to do is to close these raw edges on, um, on our leg cuffs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. When I am um, sewing these closed, what I like to do is to put the fold side in first, all the way under where it almost starts underneath the needles, because um, it is a little bit thicker, and you wanna make sure that your feed dogs will push um, all four layers evenly through your serger. So that's just a little tip um, if you've never used this method for your, um, for your cuffs before. We'll do the same thing with this one here. Okay, so now what we've got here is our pants that are completely closed up. We have our side seams that we just sewed and our crotch seam that we sewed. So we have created an opening at the top. This is where we're going to gather to attach this to our bodice. Here is the size of our bodice here. So we will have to gather this down about half. I am not going to show gathering um, on the video because I have two videos that I have linked um, that show gathering. And you just pick your favorite um, method to gather and we'll gather that to meet up with the bodice. If you are looking for methods for that, you can check the comments of this video and you will see um, two videos, one on how to gather using your serger. Um, and those settings are gonna be a little bit different for everyone. So you might wanna play around with the scrap if you choose that. Um, and there is one on how to gather with your sewing machine um, by increasing the stitch length and um, cutting the bobbin. Uh, sorry, not cutting, <laughs> pulling, <laughs> excuse me, pulling the bobbin thread. All right, so what we have here is our leg cuffs and we're gonna do the same thing um, by marking these to turn these right side out. The same thing if you watch the bubble video, the same thing that we did with our bubble. So we're going to just give little tiny snips right here on those openings. And this is going to be the halfway point of our leg cuffs. So we're just gonna flip that right side out now. Just along that seam, we're flipping it right side out and we're gonna line up the two little snips that we just made. See, we've got those two snips lined up. Now we just wanna straighten our cuff out. Perfect. And our cuff is ready to be attached to one of our leg holes. Now, 
not everybody likes to attach their um, leg cuffs the same. I like to slip mine into the leg hole um, and I like to attach them with the seams on the inside of the leg. If you wanna do it differently, that's okay. You can attach your seam to the outside, um, but whatever you pick for one side, just make sure you repeat that for the other side to make it look uniform. So what I'm gonna do now is open up this leg hole and with the seam right here in my hand, I am going to just slip this thing in to the leg hole. And I am going to line up this crotch or leg inside seam here with the seam on my um, cuffs. So I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna place a clip on it. And then we will just line up this, um, these points here, and we will just clip those right to the other side seam. We'll just do the same thing really quickly to the other cuff. And then we will be ready to sew our cuffs onto our pants. And that will be the last step that we do in this video. And then there will be, I, I will go ahead and gather up the top here and you guys gather your top using your favorite method for gathering. If you need to check out one of the other videos, go ahead and do that. Those are pretty quick videos show you how to gather. And then what we will do is I will do one last video that will show attaching the, it's just one last seam, attaching the bodice, and I'll do both for the bubble and the pants. We'll attach the bodice to our, um, to our gathered pants. I am checking here to see which way I pinned this because I want to pin this in this seam in the same direction um, so that it doesn't end up flipped and crooked. All right, so we are going to stretch these out as we sew, just like that. We're gonna sew these three raw edges together on both legs. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do now is just attach these in the round to our leg holes. So we're sewing these three raw edges together. I like to start on the inside where the seam is and you want to raise your needles all the way into the up position so that you can start with all three layers of your fabric underneath your needles. And just slip that right underneath there and then we'll straighten it out. Okay, so we are all the way under. Now we just have to straighten, we have to stretch and straighten. That really is um, how you sew on a, a cuff. I should coin that, stretch and straighten. So we're stretching the cuff to make sure that it is lining up with our um, leg opening, our pant opening. And we are just um, straightening out the fabric so that all three layers are going underneath our needles and they will all be caught in our seam allowance. So let's just sew all the way around this. The further we go, we just have to straighten it back out and stretch again. We've almost got to the halfway point. So I am going to pull this clip off and 
Again, just turn this around. Keep on straightening and stretching to make sure that we've got a little bit of our tail. There we go. Keep on straightening and stretching to make sure that we're not gonna end up with extra fabric at the end. All right. So now we're almost back to where we started. What I like to do, if you've been paying attention, is I like to run over the tail here with my knife and then I will turn my knife off so that I don't cut these looper threads and I'll overlap um, my serge seam about one inch. Um, we have turned this our needles are all the way in the up position. I lifted up my presser foot and put, turned all my fabric to the back so that I can search off and leave a little tail. All right, so that cuff is on. We'll do the next cuff really quickly. Our needles are already in the up position, so they're ready for us to lift up our presser foot and slip the cuff and our pants all the way underneath. Now, since I did turn off my needle, I have to make sure that I turn it back on now, or when I start sewing this, if you give it one quick turn, you'll see your knife. I said turn off my needle. I meant turn off my knife. You'll see your knife pop back up so my knife is engaged again. And we are just gonna line this up, stretch and straighten it out as we sew around the leg opening, attaching our cuff to the bottom of our pants. And I do wanna note that we are stretching the cuff, we are not stretching the pants. Okay, so we're just stretching the cuff just enough so that it lines up with our pants. Again, we're back to the start. Ran this guy over, I'm gonna turn off my knife. And overlap. All right, we've got the two tails on um, that I have hanging on the edge of our cuffs. I will go ahead and um, secure these as soon as we get back to the table. I am going to um, I am going to go ahead and um, gather the top of our pants before we meet back to the table. You know, I said I wasn't going to show this, but I might as well. Um, just video while I am doing it. Um, I like to gather all my serger. Every serger is going to be different. I have a Viking. Um, this is a separate serger than the one that I normally use. This is my old one. So I literally have this setting here only to gather. Um, some people don't need quite the tension that I need on my serger. So these are settings that you really have to play around with. I leave my looper tension exactly the same. These are on fours, same as if I was going to be um, just doing a normal serge seam. And then I have my needle tension for my right needle and my left needle, both turned all the way up to nine. 
Um, I've heard other people say that six is where they end up before their threads will pop. Um, but nine is what works for this machine for me. And then I also have my differential feed, which is how fast your um, machine like pulls fabric through. I have that turned all the way up to two. So what I like to do is I do two separate gathers. I don't do one big long gather. I do a gather for the front and I do a gather for the back in case I need to, um, in case I need to cut some of it, uh, to adjust some of it. Um, sometimes your serger will overgather and sometimes the gather won't be quite tight enough. So if it does overgather, you want to leave a long tail where you start and a long tail where you end so that you can loosen it up if you need to. And if you need to tighten it when you gather on your serger, serger all you do is grab on to your needle threads. Um, it's not super easy to see here, but I do use bone colored thread for my needles and white for um, my loopers so that if I do need to hook on to one of those needle threads and tighten up my gathers a little bit, I'm able to. So here's what I like to do. I like to start with my needles all the way up and I find one of my side seams and I start right on the edge of the side seam and I'll gather all the way along the front. And gathering on your serger, once you figure out the settings that are perfect for your machine, there's really nothing to it. You just lower your presser foot and then you just let it pull through your machine and it gathers it right up. So I'm coming up on this side seam. Hopefully you can see that there. It's right at the edge of my pinky here. So I am going to go all the way almost up to this side seam and then I'm going to turn my fabric and serge off. I'm gonna lift this up and I'm just gonna serge off here and I'm gonna remember I'm gonna leave a long tail in case I need to loosen um, my gathers. So I've left a long tail. I have a little knife on mine right here, so I'm gonna use that to cut it. So I've gathered one side. Look at that, it's crazy gathered. And then I'm just going to, um, I've gathered all the way up to my side seam here. And I'm just gonna start right here again and do a second set. This makes it easy to adjust your gathers um, when you are trying to match up your bodice to either your pants or your skirt or whatever it is that um, you are attaching. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well. see these um why well, cannot think of what the name of these are these tails oh my goodness I'm gonna grab these tails and I'm gonna tuck them on the inside here so that they don't accidentally get cut off by my knife when we go around here this serger that I have here it doesn't let you turn your knife off you can only move it in or out um so here we go let's finish this off <laughs> So we're to the end here. I'm just gonna go ahead and lift my needles up and surge. Actually, I'm gonna leave my presser foot up. And I'm gonna surge off here and leave another tail. All right, let's meet back at the mat and look at our gathers here and what our cuffs look like. And we will attach 
these Sorry, hide these tails. We'll secure these tails, not attach them. Okay, so here we go. We have attached our cuffs to our leg openings. And then on a whim, I went ahead and showed you guys what it looks like to um, gather up your the top of your pants. Um, or you could use the same process for the top of your bubble or a skirt later. Um, on the serger. If you do not have a serger, you do not want to use your serger, no worries. There is still a video here that you can check out that shows you how to use your sewing machine to do something very similar to this. Um, so what we need to do lastly, before I'm going to go on to a separate video to attach the, um, the bodice to our pants. I do want to show you guys how to secure your um, your serge seams when you sew something on in the round. You wanna make sure that you, you don't have anything that's gonna be sewn into. This is the end here, you know? So we wanna make sure and secure this serger tail so that nothing comes un un unwound. So I am going to use this knit picker to just slip it right in between our fabric in our seam and you just run it right down the seam and then come out right where your serger tail is and you just use the little hook to grab on to see that you use the hook to grab on to your serger tail and then you just pull it right into that seam so you've got about this much of it encased in your seam and then you'll just clip off the excess and that really helps secure that and make sure it's not going anywhere. You want to do that to both any, honestly, anything that you do, um, that you sew on in the round and there's no place that you just finish up just like that. Awesome. So we've got our cuffs now. I'm just gonna flip these out. You can see them. Hopefully they're still on the video. They are, good. So we've got our cuffs now. Perfect. And all that there is left to do is attach the top of our pants to the bottom of our bodice. So I am going to end this video and I will see you guys in the next video.